So I was in a car accident in 2012 um, where uh, road conditions up in Canada weren't that great and I ended up rear-ending somebody. Hey everybody, so it has been a little while since I have talked about low back pain and someone in my comments on Instagram uh, today actually had, had asked if I could do another video on low back pain and so I thought this would actually be a really great opportunity just to kind of talk through just some different concepts that I think about. Uh, one is a physician but two also from experience um, with having uh, intermittent chronic back pain uh, over the last few well six years or so um, and so I wanted to take that opportunity this opportunity to uh, talk about that type of stuff and so um, first, I want to give you a little backstory on what happened with my back pain because that might help uh, some of you in the process of figuring out your back pain on why you have pain, why you haven't been healing, um, and uh, maybe some different ideas and strategies to heal. So I was in a car accident in 2012 um, where uh, road conditions up in Canada weren't that great and I ended up rear-ending somebody uh, on the highway. and. Um, I walked away from that accident uh, fine. I was a little stiff the next day, kind of along, all along the erector spinae from my uh, neck all the way down to uh, my, uh, my tailbone. Um, but I was okay uh, in the sense that I, I didn't actually injure my back at that point. But probably about two weeks later, I, had, uh, I was um, in the gym and I was squatting. And at this time I was a competitive track and field athlete and was squatting pretty heavy and felt a little kind of tweak in my back. Now, I'd never really tweaked my back before, so this was the first time that that, that had happened. And so um, I was uh, working with the uh, athletic trainer in the Cairo and, and kind of got that resolved over a few days and it went away. However, about uh, two weeks after that, I was doing some repeat 800s uh, on an indoor track and on my, uh, my last rep that we were doing, uh, was running and I felt my kind of uh, lower abdominal core and my pelvis just kind of like give out and then I felt this kind of rotation in my pelvis um, and uh, I felt something just kind of give um, and it was insanely painful really really hard to walk um, had to brace my core a lot to be able to do that and then uh, the next morning I woke up in pretty excruciating low back pain that radiated down the leg um, and I had the classic symptoms of a herniated disc where any form of coughing, uh, sneezing, uh, bowel movements, all that type of stuff was so insanely painful that uh, it, it was really hard to bear. Um, and at that time, a cough or a sneeze would actually take me down to my knees. That's how painful it was. And so, um, so from there, I ended up uh, getting some treatment and, and kind of just managed the pain. You know, I was stuck in that place where my pain really wasn't getting better, but the therapies that I was doing, which was a combination of physical therapy, uh, some massage, some acupuncture, um, some chiropractic, um, and then ended up seeing a European trained osteopath who does a lot of visceral manipulations. All of that kind of uh, kept me um, status quo. I was in daily pain, but doing all that stuff kind of kept me around like a, you know, a three to four out of 10 with the occasional spikes up to about a five or a six maybe. So again, it wasn't like completely debilitating, but was, it was present every single day. Um, and this lasted for, uh, uh, I think probably about two years. So during that time I moved out here to Arizona, started naturopathic medical school. Um, and because of my interest in sports medicine, I ended up going to a conference out in Florida, which was the uh, American Academy of um, Orthopedic Medicine or AAOM conference. Um, and at that conference, I was evaluated by an extremely knowledgeable uh, doc out in Texas. His name is Brian Fullerton, or sorry, Brad Fullerton with uh, Prolo Austin. Did an evaluation on me under ultrasound and then actually treated me at that conference. Um, uh, several days later with PRP and that was the first time and at that point probably about two and a half years that I had actual significant pain reduction to the point where three months later I was um, just about pain free and was back in the gym at least doing some form of weight training because I couldn't up till that point. Um, and then to make a, a long story short 
over the the next few years uh you know i was hit on the highway um i was rear-ended at a stoplight from a kid playing pokemon go during the pokemon go craze um and, and so i've kind of i've cycled in and out of uh low back pain and then it was two and a half years ago now that i had my uh first um uh, uh bone marrow concentrate stem cell procedure while i was in uh actually just before residency and or no it was in residency i think anyways and, uh, and ever since then, I have, for the most part, been 95% um, pain-free. Um, probably about nine months ago now, I had a, a little episode at the gym where I kind of tweaked my back. Um, but I uh, kind of worked through that in about a week's time. Um, and, and this is actually where I want to go with this conversation. Um, but worked through that in about a week's time. And ever since then, it has uh, been uh, pretty good overall.